A very good afternoon to you and welcome to today's edition of Joy Business Masterclass. Masterclass is powered by Joy Business and it's brought to us by Goyle. Goyle Good Energy, Goyle Yenara Yedia. Masterclass comes your way every Wednesday here on Joy FM at 1.30 p.m. and runs all the way through to 2.15 p.m. here on your superstation Joy 99.7. My name as always is Yabana and I'm glad to be your host for today's edition of Masterclass. In the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about psychological safety at work. Last week, we looked at the role of teammates in that conversation. And here are a few thoughts that sort of stayed with me. We always like to do a little recap so that we can sort of start the conversation from a place of understanding. And so these are the pointers that stayed with me that as teammates in the work environment or the workspace, what are some of the things that we can do to help our fellow teammates to feel psychologically safe in the space that they work? Because it then goes to affect their mental health and therefore their thinking, their approach to the work and their productivity and therefore the bottom line. One of the key things we talked about was that we must agree to share our failures and recognize that our failures are an opportunity to learn. As team members, we must always agree to share our failures and recognize that the failures that occur within the team, no matter whose fault it is, is an opportunity for us to learn, either from the mistakes you have made yourself or from the mistakes that others have made. The other thing we also talked about was that we should learn to celebrate diversity and inclusion, acknowledging that people come from different places and have had a different set of experiences leading up to the time that we have met them and experiencing them. I've always said here on the show that people are a function of their orientation, what you do, what you believe, your aspirations, your fears, are a function of the exposure you have had to who, what, when, growing up and to the time that you express yourself. The third thing that we also talked about in that conversation, what team members can do to make each other feel safe, was to encourage continuous learning within the group and ask freely for help and give same. Sometimes when we're in a team, people feel that um, I'm supposed to be able to do this. And therefore, if I can't do it, instead of asking and looking bad, I'd rather sit down and not ask a question. Um, I used to work with a manager who used to say, I'd rather ask an unintelligent question than make an unintelligent mistake. So if you need help, shout, raise your hand and ask for help within a team. And have that mentality that when others around you also need help, they will ask for help. We also talked about the fact that team members must also learn to give and receive constructive feedback, knowing that mistakes, again, are an opportunity to learn and not to cast down. And the final thing was that team members should express empathy and respect for other team members. So we continue in that same conversation. I remember that our resource person talked extensively about this um, conversation here today. It's one of those conversations that gives us a mixed feeling because, again, it will be the last show on the conversation on psychological safety at work. But today we talk about the impact of the Ghanaian culture on psychological safety at work, the impact of the Ghanaian culture on psychological safety at work. Back in the studio with us to have this conversation is Uncle James Addison, who's a certified EQ coach and the CEO of Addison International. Uncle James, Good. welcome back to <laughs> this uh, ongoing conversation, yeah. albeit this will be our last in this series. Good. But we're happy to have you back yeah. on this conversation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I've enjoyed myself and our followers and our sponsors are very happy that yeah. we've gone through this journey. It's very, very important. Indeed. Right. Indeed. Yesterday, a friend called me from um, Sunyani mm. and said, James, I listened to one of your episodes and I think I have to share it with one of the CEOs around. Right. Because uh, even cleaning the, how do you call it, uh, the office chairs, he has instruction for it and he will stand there. And they, he, he asks them to clean with hard sponge mm. and it gets spoiled and he's after the people. Mm. So some of these things, if they hear, they may be able to give opportunity to them. Clean the chairs mm -hmm. and watch them do it. Right? Because when you instruct them and it's even wrong, psychological safety if it's not that enhanced they will keep quiet yeah. and do as you've told them and their results will be that bad and they won't add anything to it they won't go beyond themselves no 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 no, no. i used to work in a certain company <laughs> back in the day and one of that it was an international company one mm. of the, the senior senior managers in the sub region good showed up for a visit in mm. the country and you know that for an international company once the a senior manager from the region shows up it's yeah. a big deal yeah now the guy shows up and after he's ushered onto the compound mm. He tells the CEO to go to his office. He'll meet him there. Mm. 
and we are like, where are you going? Yeah. He says, I'm going to the washroom. Mm. I'm going to the washroom, not in your office, mm. to the one that you have outside for visitors. Yeah. And we said, okay. So we followed him, obviously. Mm. And then we asked later, we said, why did you do that? Yeah. He says, my philosophy is that how you treat your washroom yeah. is how you treat your staff. Yeah. And I think he's my senior and brother. And it was so profound. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's my senior brother. Wow. Yeah, whenever I entered anywhere, that is the first place. I check. check. So in my house, I don't want people to say, I want to go there. I say, wait, no. Mm. So I'm always on the children, making sure that it's a very Indeed. good environment. Yeah. Indeed. The role of the Ghanaian <laughs> in psychological safety at work. Yeah, today, Promises to be an interesting conversation. Yeah, today we're going to enjoy very much. You Indeed. know, we have a very beautiful culture and when it's properly enhanced and mm. it's not destroyed, right, uh, we should be able to. We are not saying there are not other ones that need to be reviewed. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are here today. Yeah. But let me give a shout out to a very old, old friend, uh, Gifty. Gifty Opoku is now a qualified nurse. Wow. And uh, I'm sure very soon uh, we'll meet. And there are a lot of people, I'm sure, watching us today. Yeah. Shout out to all of them. And because it's traditional, let mm. me greet my senior brother, mm. uh, Osaberma Otibukwao, oh. the sixth, the paramount chief of Enyande in tra traditional area. Mm. Then I will not forget uh, Dasebre Kwebu, where we see mm. the seventh, uh, for immediate past vice president of the National House of Chiefs. Okay. Then Enuna Bubimpra, as you say. Right, then Nana Afankwa. Paramount chief of the cleanest town. Yeah, the cleanest I town. I can't forget that one. Yeah, Nana Afankwa of Asia. Mm. He's a member of the Council of State. Right. Then Okwamankra. Mm. Okwamankra. Akonu. Right. Mm. Of Abasa. Then uh, these are my, 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 my people. Uh, I have to be proud of my traditional Indeed. area. Indeed. Uh, so I've really recognized them. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a few birthday dedications. They'll be later. Yeah. Um, my producer. So it was her birthday on Sunday last week. Wow. And also of my of the show's engineer, Abeku Sakofi. Good. Happy belated birthday to good, the two of them. Good, good, Indeed. good, good. Indeed. We are happy to to have them. And yes. We hope that next year by this time we'll be together at Dubai. That indeed, one is coming indeed, under my indeed. own we'll sponsorship. Be airing, we'll, be, we'll, be, yeah. we'll be producing the show from <laughs> the bad Cali. <laughs> Good. Let's move to, you know, yeah, culture is so powerful, right? Uh, I can say uh, on authority and with uh, experiential uh, knowledge mm. that most of the countries that have really developed did not destroy the very good part of their culture. True. It's very, very important. We may have some challenges, but the good ones need to be maintained. So today we are looking at how our culture will contribute to psychological safety at the workplace. That simply means that how would our culture, our way of life, help us to either keep quiet or voice out when the need arises. So I want us to look at the very first part, which will look at the, the positive side of some of our culture and its impact on the voice that is needed at the workplace. And the very first point I have here, I have cultivating psychological safety at work, the impact of Ghanaian culture. Mm. The chief, the last to speak. Mm. The chief, the last to speak. This is a culture. In our traditional setup, the king is the last person to speak. Now, there are so many lessons in, in here, but I'll pick two valuable lessons. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. Okay, then you should yeah. add the proverb. Uh, which one is What's that? What's opinion? Yeah, to be frank, I contacted one of the professors in English, mm. but many response. That's why some of them I will try and mm -hmm. do my own English. So the professor they shouldn't judge me too <laughs> much. <yeah. laughs> so there's going to be a lot of proverbial and statement yeah. in our local language. So the chief is the last person to speak. Now, the skill of holding, the skill that the chief will hold on his opinion until everyone has spoken, our traditional setup could be harnessed to create psychological safety at work. Mm -hmm. The fact that the chiefs keep quiet for everybody to speak and he becomes the last person to speak is a very good word, culture, that when it is properly harnessed and reviewed, it can help promote voice at the workplace. Why? Now, what, uh, hold on. It gives everybody else the feeling that you've been heard. So in the palace, if there's even a litigation, the chief will not go straight and say, you did not do it well, you did not. No, 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 no. He will allow everybody to speak. Now, the beauty is that everybody there will feel that I've been heard. And remember, feelings are very powerful. Now, what I feel <laughs> will let me do something that you, you, 
I will even later regret. Yeah. So feelings are very, very important. Most of our decisions are moved by what we feel and not necessarily logic. That is why your ability to manage your emotions will help you to take a very good decision. If not, most of the time, it will be bad. So everybody feels that he's been hurt. That alone settles the issue. A voice has been given. The second most important benefit of this is that the king will get the benefit of hearing what everybody <coughs> has to say yeah. before he speaks. speaks yeah. It's very, very important. has to say and think before he speaks. Now, if this is, is taken to the workplace, it means the CEO will keep quiet and listen to everybody. He will be the last person to speak. It means the head of department will be the last person to speak. It means the head of the team will be the last person to speak. This is our culture that needs to be enhanced into the workplace and is really, really very, very important. And there are a lot of, uh, some of these ones that we, we come across. The next thing is inclusive leadership. In, our, in this part of the world, our leadership is very, very inclusive. Now, you see, before the parliament came in at the palace, Ebusuan Peyin is there. Ebusuan Peyin, Ebusuan Chami. These people are from different, let me say, families. different clans or families. Yeah. But the chiefs make sure, that the tradition makes sure that all these people are represented, including women. We were gender balance, balance before they, 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 they came to tell us that. <laughs> we, they, yeah, that is why we have... Yeah, we yeah, have the queen, yeah, 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 yeah. We have the queen mothers. What does that mean? It's a gender balance. Mm. And sometimes in some of the clients, they are very powerful. Okay. One will see a him for no. Yeah. You get, they are the mothers. Yeah. Although they may not be at the forefront, they have a serious role to play at the background. Yeah. You, you get to my point. So inclusive leadership is part of our destiny. Now, Ghanaian culture values inclusive leadership styles that, that prioritize census building and collaboration. Now, all this kind of attribute in our culture make sure that the conscious, consensus building is what is achieved. And it enhances collaboration. Now, leaders who embrace these culture norms create an environment where voices are heard and respected. Ochami will have his own I, I, how do you call it, uh, uh, area yeah. to speak to. Ebu Chiampin will have his own area to speak to. Oba Hima will come in. You get him approach. So the inclusive nature, when it's taken to the workplace, that means it will ensure that people are made to feel inclusive. Remember, in our second lecture, we talk about the process of getting these people yeah. to feel like they are part of the, world, the institution. And one, the very first one is the inclusive stage. So, I mean, an example of that for me is good. what happens in our markets, mm. and it's always I'm always just blown away when I when I see you know, every product mm. that is sold in any major market mm. has a product head. Yeah, yeah. So you see, um, the head of yeah. um, the all the onion sellers, yeah. head of all the okra yeah. sellers, yeah, and it's for a reason. Yeah, it's for a reason. Yeah, it essentially, it speaks to inclusion. Yeah. That, that is it. And you see, the, the, it's, a, it's, it's what we are referring to as association now. Mm. Are you getting my point? And their association is very, very strong. Yeah. And they respect whoever is in that seat. It's very, very important, right? By involving employees in decision-making process and value their input, leaders can foster a sense of psychological safety where employees feel empowered and contribute toward the tax. Now, I have something here. I said a single head does not convey a meeting. So the English people don't blame me too much. Yeah? I'm not a professor in English. <laughs> well, this this is something that I picked from our tradition. What's it? Itikurum kwejina. Itikurum pam. You get yeah. to my point. All these sayings were emphasizing the fact that inclusiveness is very, very important in our traditional setup. And the workplace cannot do away with such a very beautiful culture. The next thing I want us to look at is the sense of community. A sense of community. Ghanaian culture places strong emphasis on community and collective world being. In the workplace, this translates into sense of belonging and supporting among what? Among groups. It's very, very important. Some years ago, right, uh, Anki Kwesi and then uh, Anki Kwame, mm -hmm. they will come together, their wives will cook, and then they will go to Anki Kwesi's farm mm -hmm. to finish the Anki Kwesi's uh, Ndobwa. You're getting my point. It talks about sense of what? Mm -hmm. Community. People will go out. The hunters will go, struggle, endanger their own lives, get the what? The, 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 the animals or yes. whatever. And it belongs to the community. One is very big on one sunny. I remember those times. 
in a yan dentra, O co baby no one yon one sanana, was the bang in fin way to try way to be a salai when ye be. It's a sense of community. This sense of community spirit can be transferred into the workplace. And this is where Yanara Assassini comes in when you get to the workplace. So you don't tell people it's the work for your father or your mother. No, it's for the community, it's for the people at the Joy FM to push this kind of agenda. It's very, very, it's very... all of us. We have a communal all of, interest. Yeah, interest in that. It's very, very important. In one of my books, I've stated that our ability to build a communal spirit in children. Mm. Children will not just grow up and love their cities or love their towns. No, it doesn't happen in a vacuum. Certain things must be done. You know, last two years or so, I was on uh, Kofi TV, mm. and a, a, a lady called in and sent me $1,000 to eat free of charge. Mm. They say, chop the money. I never knew there was such an expertise in Ghana. And after that, I said, what can I do for you? I have to send a lady to my village. Ten-seater, what, a toilet facility for children where I schooled. Boho on standby. He's now, she's now also planning to what? To, to, to uh, put up some structure at the secondary school. Boho at the secondary school. Repair. You see, why I directed the person to my area of jurisdiction? It is what they imbibe in me, the community what spirit. Because you also came out of Out them. of, that is it. You must give something back. Back. And you see, when we were there, there was a man called Ejo Doom. The man will, will literally construct the gutter. It is there, the man will go for his own son. Go for his own, uh, how do you call it, cement. Mm -hmm. Lay the blocks. And one man business, that man, something a statue must be put up for that man in my hometown. You get to my point. So when we are looking at all these things and you 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 come of age, you bamis do something for the community you are coming for. A sense of community is very, very important to what part of our culture. Yeah. Emphasis on relationship. Emphasis on relationship. Ghanaian culture places a strong emphasis on building and maintaining relationship. We can find that group crowd. That is why when somebody uh, loses the husband or a wife. Some of the women. Last week, I was at my in-laws, uh, my, my sister's husband passed on at Mankesi, and then we went. And could you believe that women from my hometown, my, 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 my royal family, that this neighborhood, almost five of them were there with my sister for almost a week. Nobody paid their transportation. Yeah. Are you getting Nobody is going to feed them voluntarily. We, 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 we cherish relationship. Right. In the workplace, this can lead to strong interpersonal connections among colleagues, fostering trust and mutual support. Employees feel comfortable seeking help, collaborating with others, and sharing personal experience, which enhances sense of psychological safety. Emphasis. Our culture emphasis on relationship. We don't play with relationship at all. That is why your mommy will tell you, go and greet this. Well, I remember those times when I'm from secondary school back to my hometown. My mommy asked me, have you gone to greet your auntie? Have you gone to greet your nana? Have you gone to greet all these things? We lay emphasis on relationship. And relationship is even more needed at the workplace because the harmonious what relationship between the people or the group of people ensure that the vision and the mission of that company is achieved. They, have, they can have individual talent, mm. but if they are not able to harness that kind of relationship, that will go nothing. So every good Ghanaian who has the notion and that culture of relationship building must transfer this to the workplace. Mm. You don't do this home and forget about it when you get to the workplace. Mm. It, will not, it will not be that helpful. Yeah. Respect for authority and elders. Respect for authority and elders. It's very, very important that, you know, in our society, we respect elders. Yes. Now, I will look at the other side, but our respect for elders simply means that you also respect your CEO, your MD. And I'm not looking at the respect that you go and greet. That is one side. The respect that when they tell you to meet the lead, now you meet it. The respect that when they give you the work, you do the very important research into it and do a very good presentation. This is the respect I'm talking about. It's not the one greeting, going around, spending 40 minutes to greet, but meanwhile the work is not done. That is not the respect we're talking about. When you look at the respect we give to the, our early, if we take the same respect back to work, we will not come to work 8 o'clock and mark ourselves 7.15. It's not a respect. Yeah, you, you're getting my yeah. point. Yeah, when you look at the way we respect our early, if that is taken to the workplace, it will be a very good thing. Why? We'll do everything possible to ensure that the people that we respect 
will do what they have access to do and even go that extra mile to ensure that we make their respect complete. In the workplace, this can what? Foster an environment where employees feel respected and valued by their managers and leaders. When employees feel respected, they are more likely to speak up. They are concerns and they contribute to discussion without fear. It's very, very important. Dialogue and feedback. Dialogue and feedback. Let me see if I can get the English version. If I don't, then you help me. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, say it as the, uh, the person that is clearing the path may not necessarily be aware if the back is crooked or straight. I've done well. So the English lectures are leg one and clear. Uh, yes, well. they, they should. <laughs> All these sayings were telling us that people behind you can help you to reshape whatever you are doing. This is about what dialogue and what feedback. Yeah. If this idea, if this culture will be imbibing us and we can take it to the workplace, then when people are giving us feedback, we will not throw it away. Yeah. Why? Because even our sayings and all those things. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I'm going to pick some words and make sure that I explain them in the world, in its originality, and look at the contemporary world now. Uh -huh. We don't have to throw them away. We can modify them and make sure. When we get to the, the, the difficult ones or the negative aspect, we will look at some of these right. things. It's very, very important. Good. Now, Ghanaian culture can contribute positively to creating psychological safety at work, but there are also ways in which some aspects of our culture may adventurely hinder development. I want us to have opportunity to look at a very few yeah. of them. It's very, very important. Yeah. If not, people will think that, ah, by James, <laughs> there are some one or two that, you know, the very thing I... I, I it gives a 360-degree view. Yeah, of, of the whole this thing, right. Hierarchical nature of our heart, our institutions. Structured in that one. You can't just go and see the chief straight away. Are you getting my point? Yeah. You must see the chairman, we start paying, they listen to some of the things. It's good, but sometimes we emphasize too much that before the chief hear it, the damage has been what has been caused. And it's, it's, it's fighting against us. Some of the, sometimes the president's there. And when, one day when you get there, you may limit how you blame them. Because some of the things before they hear, <laughs> the damage has been done straight away. That is why sometimes some approaches of J.J. Uh, Rollins and others going into the ground and that was very helpful in some aspect. Because when you sit there, it is not always the good things that you hear or the preferable one. It's because of the structure of our system. That is good, but we don't have to abuse it. Are you getting my point? Uh -huh. If we can bypass one or two for the chief to hear with immediate action, that, that should be allowed. That is why we have the fast track word. This thing. So in the chieftains, if my people are listening to me, I was raised from the chieftains background. You see. If my people are listening to me, there must be fast track uh, kind of institutions in our uh, in our tradition, so that if these things happen, we can bypass this this, this and move here because of the speed yeah. we want to attach yeah. it, so that it doesn't come to fight us because it's a very good thing, right? I think in it's such settings, yes, yeah. the Ghanaian culture often respect hierarchy in nature, where authority figures are highly regarded. In such settings, employees may feel intimidated, hesitant to speak, or challenge any authority figure, leading to a lack of psychological safety where open communication and feedback are inhibited. It's very, very serious because sometimes people will say, okay, this one, we will not even get there, so let's just, <laughs> let's just keep quiet. It will not get to that man, please. Let me just forget. Because we know that when he speaks, before he gets there, no effect. They'll, you will keep quiet. They wouldn't even try. We, yeah. Now, the next thing I want us to do, and I, when I wrote this, I started laughing. I, sp I don't spit and consume it again. <laughs> I <laughs> hope my English people... Yeah, I mean, to to man 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 yeah, yeah, you know something. It's a very good something. The reason why I support this one, I want to support it, then come to the challenges that it yes. creates. Now, before they make this statement, They've done their, their, all the review they have to it must do. must be a considered, a considered opinion. opinion. Are you getting my point? It's not in a rush. It's in a casa on two interfering group from now far. Nana will do that process. Make sure that everybody has spoken. He has listened to the both sides. So when I'm speaking, when I say it, it's what? It's final. Mm -hmm. This is the situation where this will be very applicable. But not necessarily uh, being confronted with a superior argument. Mm -hmm. 
a superior revolution. <laughs> I'm smiling because yeah. it's like a, a manager who walks into a meeting yeah. and starts firing. Yeah. And then when you finish saying, does anybody have anything to anything say? To of say, course they uh, don't have anything yeah, No, 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 no. You have finished all you of us. You everybody Everybody, yeah. You finish, you yeah. Know? You see my point? So we don't have to carry this in yeah. total into the workplace. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you speak, you have to take it. This is proverbial. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? In the workplace, it can be managed. Because the disaster, the end result will be so disastrous. In other words, answer the best thing to finish. Yes. Be careful. Answer the best thing to finish. That is it. That is it. So our culture encourages, especially people in authority, not to be easily resent their decision. It's good to some aspect, but you must be the due diligence must be done. Yeah. If not, it will fight against us at the workplace. Yeah. You have seen that this statement you made is causing a whole lot of havoc. You can simply say, Charlie, I was under, under very serious emotions and let's forget it and let, it, it, it's, it's okay. This has a tendency to fight against people speaking up, knowing that their voice may not matter. Yeah. Like the example you gave, you have finished everything, do you have anything to say? No, we must encourage voice at the, at the workplace. Now, a child has no case or right before an elderly person. Mm -hmm. Abu Fred would forget it, Gra. You see, and this year something like that happened to me, but I manage it, you see, because I don't want confrontation. Another area that we will look at. A Ghanaian culture gives too much power and respect to the elderly, which makes it very difficult for a younger person to voice out on disagreement. By extension into the workplace, this will kill development of psychological safety at work. No matter what you do in this part of the world, especially in Ghana, but I think it's changing a little bit, right? A child has no voice. You, you can never win it with your father. Yeah. You can never win it with your mother. Mm -hmm. you, can never, you can never fight them. Mm -hmm. But a time is coming that we need to look at some of these things. When we take this into the workplace, we'll run at a loss. Right? Because when we see the danger and we complain, you don't take it. Yeah, in Ethiopia, are you getting my yeah. point? Yeah, it's a very good song, but yeah. there's a popular one that <laughs> our, our mothers will say yeah. when you question and argued with them, mm. they look at you and they say, "I'm mm. so Yeah, then it ends the conversation. You're confusing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to waste my nine months of labor? <laughs> Just keep quiet and go ahead. Yeah. So some of these things we need to look at it, especially when and it the gets mothers, to the, if we joke, they will disown you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to waste their time any longer. We have no case before them. Avoidance of conflict. You see, we are groomed in such a way that we don't want conflict at all. Yeah. But the minimum conflict is very, very important at the yeah. workplace. Right? A Ghanaian culture generally values harmony mm -hmm. and discourages open confrontation yeah. or disagreement. So you know, maybe a while we don't even want to say it. Well, okay, well, it's okay. Are you getting my point? That may not help that much yeah. when the voice is needed. As a result, employees may avoid expressing dissenting opinions mm -hmm. or raising concerns to maintain peace. They just want peace. Even if it compromises their Activity. psychological safety, yeah. uh, they, they, they don't want to say yeah. anything. We are groomed to be, uh, how do you call it, loving people, conformist. avoiding your yeah, conformists. So anything that we want to stand up against sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you see, it doesn't also help in the long run. Yeah. You, you get to my point. Uh, opinion may not get it right all the time. Yeah. Gender dynamics. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Uh, I saw somebody on the TV and he said, he was arrested and he said, so uh, who was searching you? It, it, was it the woman among the... Ah, how can a woman search me? How can a woman search a man? You get to my point. Uh -huh. But I think a woman in a security force can search a man. Yeah, sir, you almost saw baby, but what you could to come. Are you getting my point? Yeah. 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 So I, I suppose that considerations are made. <laughs> yes, in those areas. Yeah, but uh, you see that the gender dynamics can also fight against. Because when you look at... Women are not allowed to confront men in our culture. Mm. I think it's changing now. But when we have yeah. that notion, maybe we become CEO or the head of department at the workplace, we may belittle women's effort. And when women see it like that, they won't even voice out or speak. Not at all. Mm. They will just keep quiet. So traditional gender roles and expectations within Ghanaian culture may influence workplace dynamics, yeah. potentially creating barriers for psychological safety. The women know that oh, our voice is this man. The woman is, let me just keep quiet. For example, female employees may feel marginalized or undervalued in a male-dominated environment, mm. impacting their sense of belonging and psychological safety. That's ability to speak up. Right? Let's take the last point and then we'll Good. get interactive Good. so that our listeners <laughs> can be a part of it. But I think, I yeah. Think, yeah, let's that's go to the next very, point. Yeah. Yes. So that's collectivity and then individualism yeah. is very, very important. Whilst collectiveness is a prominent feature of Ghanaian culture, it may lead to conformity and pressure to the norms of the whole, the majority. 
which may not necessarily be the, the right. So yeah. we must be very careful to balance our collective efforts as against individual uh, issues. Employees may fear judgment of isolation. Mm. Hey, the bay, mm, everybody doesn't want to come closer yeah. to whatever because they believe that you should have done it this way. Standing on their way, they may not necessarily be what? They may not necessarily be the, 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 the best or the best uh, solution or option. Mm. But because you don't want to be seen as an isolated person or the odd person, who will just keep quiet and it will fight against workplace psychological safety. Hold those uh, thoughts for me. I'm sure there's a lot more that you <laughs> want to share with us in the uh, little time that we have left. But we'll take a quick message from our sponsors. When we come back, we get interactive. Yeah. Your favorite on-air business development program, Joy Business Masterclass, is in session. And you can interact with us on Facebook via the Joy 99.7 FM or Joy Business pages. If you tweet, the handle is at Joy 997 FM or at Joy Business GH. Don't forget to hashtag JB Masterclass. You can also call us on 0302-216541 or send your questions and contributions through to the WhatsApp number 551 997 and our facilitators will address your concerns. Attention everyone, class is in progress. Welcome back. If you've just tuned in, this is Masterclass here on your Superstation Joy 99.7. Today's edition of Masterclass is brought to us by Goyle. Goyle Good Energy, Goyle Yenara. Yeah, their phone lines are now open. We're interactive. Numbers to call 0302-216-541. That's 0302-216-541. You can also send us your comments on 55 Please do not text while you drive. We definitely want you to arrive alive. But otherwise, send us your comments on 055-1997 or 0302-216-541. If you have any motor vehicle of any kind, then we recommend Goyle for you for your fuel option. Goyle PLC, your CIMG Hall of Fame and 2022 Petroleum Company of the Year, has taken the lead again. Goyle has opened ultra-modern liquefied petroleum auto gas service stations across the country. The modern auto gas service is safe. It is clean and it offers affordable alternative fuel for your vehicle. So look out for the Goyle Auto Service Stations in the following areas. Bema Camp Goyle Service Station, Accra. Beshi Goyle Service Station, Accra. Pedu Junction Goyle Service Station, Cape Coast. Mpintin Goyle Service Station, Takrade. Kenting Krono Goyle Service Station, Kumasi. Goyle, delivering the safest and affordable gas at your convenience. Goyle, good energy. Goyle, Yenara. Yedia. I'll go straight to my comments on social media. This one is from Rich K, <coughs> uh, who lives in North Dakota in the USA. Wow. Thank you for reaching out to us all the way from North Dakota. It says, hi, Yao and team. I'm loving every bit of Uncle James's presentation. Thanks to him and you all. I'm a fanty myself, and I can relate when he <laughs> speaks the language. I also enjoy his funny examples. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I'm working from home and doing the listening. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Rich K from uh, North Dakota, reaching out to us. Um, I've got a few more comments on social media. Uh, this one is uh, is from... I'm trying to see. I can't see your name properly. Um, okay, just keep your comments coming. Okay, this one, you didn't add your name, but it says... Um, I, it says, I chanced... I chanced on this pathetic video from social media, and I want to bring it to your attention of management. Okay, I don't think this is for a master class, but thank you for reaching out to us. He says it's an extremely sad situation. I'm sure that the production crew will look at it and uh, respond to it appropriately. appropriately. I've got Tony from Koforidua. Tony says, hi, I really enjoy this program very well. Whatever Mr. Anderson, it's actually Addison, <laughs> has said is very true. Um, if, if all this culture can be inculcated... At our workplace, productivity will increase. Inclusiveness at the workplace will allow continuity of tradition and legacy. Number two, if we are, take, if we are taking seriously or we look seriously at how corruption is tackled using the traditional setup, <laughs> then this will help improve work in our workplaces. There will be little or no corruption at the workplace. This is from Tony from Koforidia. Tony, thank you so much for reaching out to us with those comments. Um, please keep your comments coming. Uh, you can send them to us on 055 one 
or pick up that phone give us a call 30 we're talking about psychological safety at work and how um, a Ghanaian culture can uh, help us um, okay just keep your comments coming through okay James I think good. you had a few more pointers to good. share with us good um, if we could just keep going on while we wait for the phone lines to ring through good yes Good. Now, uh, for instance, there is a saying like, um, Idiya kruje huma obu. True. Right? Idiya kruje huma obu. I don't know how we speak the English. <laughs> the English. Literally, it means yeah. that if one tree takes all the, the all, wind, all the then, wind yeah. um, it won't, it won't it's survive. It's likely it won't survive. Yeah, right? it will fall. Yeah, so he's talking about uh, collaboration yeah. and teamwork. That means together we can achieve more. Yeah. Uh -huh. So some of these sayings, when it's literally taken to the workplace, it's going to really what help us. It's very, very important. And sometimes we also say that prior iba kwa nobu. It's a yeah. very, very important yeah. collaborative skills. That strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. You get to my point. Yeah. So all these things are culture. Yeah, uh -huh. the culture is also about the words we speak yeah. into the minds of the people yeah. and the attitude and behavior we put up. We mm -hmm. put up. So some of these sayings reinforces some of these very important things that ensures that the workplace is very secure mm -hmm. for for all of us. Now we should also have in mind the ability to to harness some of these what skills among ourselves, mm -hmm. and when it's taken to the workplace we all become uh, better off. Mm -hmm. Right. While Ghanaian culture has many positive aspects, we must co which must contribute to psychological safety, mm -hmm. a conscious effort must be what? Must be made to make sure that these things are transferred. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very important. To, to what extent do we encourage children to even visit the palace? We allow them to go to the, the, the parliament to observe. It's hard time we take them to the palace as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get to my point. Uh -huh. When they sit, <laughs> in the <laughs> yeah, but we, the policies are there. Yeah. It's hard time we let them patronize yeah. some of these things. So you yeah. go and you observe some of these things, so that when you take it to the workplace, it's it's, it's very very important and it's going yeah. to help us. It is also important to be aware of the potential dangers in some of these things, mm. right? That is the essence of education. That is the essence of growing society. Yeah. Right, uh -huh. we may not condemn it totally, but if there's something we can do so that the, 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 we enjoy the benefit of some of these things, I tell you, the world is going to be a better place. Remember, somebody was even talking about corruption and all those yeah. things. Uh -huh. Look at how corruption is tackled here. He said, in the in the in the in the in the rural banking sector, I'm training uh, rural banking. Eh? Yeah. In the rural banking sector, people that get the loan will never default. Ask me why. Yeah, the culture is very strong against those things. The wife is there. The children are there. Mm. But come to Accra. <laughs> uh, the lawyer will tell you what to do. The they, don't, they don't care. They yeah, the they look for so that people just take the money. Why are the rural banks surviving? Mm. There's so much in our tradition. The man respects himself in the community. He doesn't want the wife to be going and people will be pointing at the wife that this But come to Accra. The lawyer will tell they you what to do. The market to buy a car, they will sell to you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I went to on social media yeah. and he says, um, Hi, my name is Daniel Bano from the University of Education, Winneba. I really enjoyed your program and God bless Joy for bringing such a program on board because it has really helped me a lot. I recommend it to all institutions to train their employees. I would love to get a copy of his book. <coughs> Daniel's point brings me to, because today is our last show, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll ask you for your takeout. And everything, okay. But okay. after the show, yeah. where do people find you? I know you're doing quite a bit of work on Facebook. You're doing quite a bit yeah. of work with the Ghana Police Service, with yeah. the Assemblies of God Church, yeah. with, <laughs> with the pa all the chiefs whose yeah. names you mentioned. You have been to their palaces. Yeah. These days, your value has really gone up. <laughs> so, so, where can we the value find is you? not the same. I mean, longer. there's a company listening to you. There's a CEO listening to you. Yeah. There's a manager. There's a business owner. He says, I, Uncle James, I want you to come and 
talk to my yeah. people. Yeah. Where can they find you? What are the packages you offer? Okay. Okay. Which books have you written? Okay. How do people benefit from, from, yeah. from the information you're sharing? Yeah, with yeah. Us? I think uh, it's, it's very important that we look at some of these mm. things. Actually, I've written three books, okay. right? So I will show some of them. One yeah. of them is Harnessing the so uh, Emotional Skills of Children. Right. The other is Harnessing the Emotions of Children. Mm. The other one, uh, that is the something on marriage right. right so if people are really uh, watching us mm. this one has something to do with helping children to manage their emotions okay, so says my child my, my future. future optimizing emotions where can they children. get copies yeah now you have to give me a call okay. by by the close of next month right. it's going to be on the oh uh, this bookshop uh challenge, challenge bookshop challenge, right, uh -huh. right. we've started the negotiation so it's going okay. to be nationwide but for now, if you need one, I will put my number okay. up there. And then this one talks about the social skills. Right. All that I'm talking about here, they find here. Mm. How do we build confidence in children? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Community, uh, how do you call it? Sense. And then we have, I even have, an, uh, uh, how do you call it? The, the family ambassadorship mm. in a child. A child must be grown to defend the family, yeah. not in a bad way. Yeah. The name that you inherit, uh, that name was given to you especially. Mm -hmm. I am called Kwesi Achel. Mm -hmm. I'm named after a chief, Nana Achel. Mm -hmm. So if you go to my hometown, there's a chief called Nana Achel. Yeah. So there's, I mean, to me, I'm talking about children defending their yeah. names. Yeah. My father said to me, he says, yeah. <laughs> when I was growing up, he says in our family, mm. I won't be too specific. He said, this particular thing, mm -hmm. nobody has done it in our family before. That is it. You bear my name. Yeah. Don't let it be heard. No, that so long as you bear my don't name, don't try. It. You have done this thing. Don't try. You know, so you are right. Children yeah. must be you see, to you see, we think that the children will grow to pick some of this, thing, but we need to make that conscious yeah. effort yeah. to imbibe in them this yeah. kind of skill. So confidence and all those things, ability to listen at them. Yeah. And the last but not the least, the Almighty. Yeah. I wrote this with Nana Yakune of Peace FM. Right. We're about Shout to out launch to Nana it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's a very powerful book. Right. I signed marriage certificate, not death warrant. Mm. Make sure that you don't sign a death warrant, but rather a marriage certificate. Mm. There will be couple is all here. It's very, very important. Okay. Now on social media is yeah. James Quisi Addison. And then when it comes to the uh, YouTube. It's uh, Emotional Intelligent TV, EITV, all in one word. Okay. But there's a program I do every year. This year is happening at Cape Coast. Right. Emotional Intelligent African Summit, where I bring students close to over 1,000 mm. and educate them free of charge. It's under my own sponsorship. Mm. So if you are hearing me and you want to support, yeah. you can come on board. We are impacting a lot. Right. I go to churches. Everywhere you want to engage me, we are available. Last week, I was with the Ghana uh, military, 48 mm. Is it a if regiment? Read, if, yes. uh -huh. And it was very fantastic. When I entered, I told them that I'm an emotional intelligent coach, but I'm highly emotional standing here. I don't uh, want to be a play, <laughs> player around here. Numbers to call. <laughs> if people want to reach you, what, what, what numbers do they call? 055 945 9207. Can we take it again? Yes, yeah, 055 945 9207. Okay. And if anyone yeah. wants to reach Uncle James after <laughs> here, all of the shows we did in the last couple of weeks yeah. are yeah. on Facebook. Good. And they're also on our um, My Joy Online, on yeah. our Facebook page. So you can go yeah. back, just mention, type Joy Business Masterclass, Good. and then the dates yeah. that you're looking for, and it will be there. And Uncle then, yeah, before, will be before we forget, yes. uh, I want uh, uh, Goyle mm. right, to hold you responsible if I mm. don't run the training for them. It's promo, right? Free okay. of charge. Okay, yeah, so but whatever they will give me, I will take. Okay, so <laughs> Goel is listening. Uh, Uncle James is happy to run some training. Uh, yes, for, especially for I will do for staff. the top level management. I will do psychological safety, what right. you've done, and then I will do emotional intelligence first aid for the right. workers. So they should make sure I'm, that it comes on. I'm sure that immediately after the show, <laughs> they will call my producer. Final comments on social media from Reverend Albert Seth Okran. Wow, Spintex, Reverend Okran. He says, please, I'm really impressed by Uncle James's presentation and would like him to consider working with the Ministry of Education to speak to our children in the primary schools where such cultural norms must be formed. Your education is balanced, which is what we need. Reverend 
Albert Seth Okran. Good. Um, Reverend Okran, a very good afternoon <laughs> to you and thank you for reaching out to us. We really appreciate the comments and the feedback. Uncle James, yeah. four weeks of psychological safety at work. Good. What should we not forget from this conversation? Yes, one of the things that we don't have to forget is that voice is really needed at the workplace. Anytime you fight against voice, you are fighting against creati creativity, innovation. And looking at our world now, what is really constant is a change, mm. especially from 2019, the COVID. Yeah. Interdependency has become so prominent in whatever we want to achieve. Mm. Now, managers and people in the realms of affairs must make sure that voice is needed. Voice is allowed for yeah. creativity. That is the only thing we can do to help our company. Mm. It's very, very, very important. Mm. When you don't speak, nothing gets done. So allow people to speak yeah. and make sure that people will fail and fail fast. Are you getting my point? I think I would love to have a reverence number. So yeah. if reverend is listening to me. There's so much I can do mm. with him, right? Uh -huh. The books are there. We can get, we, I mean, the guy is ready to print yeah. just on the course. Then we yeah. send it to school. These are yeah. some of the things that other people in abroad are Indeed. doing. So there are schools that I'm printing. When you go to uh, Kumasi, I've submitted to almost five or six schools. Mm. And that is what I'm doing this year. Mm. Very soon it's going to be in Accra. Next month is Cape Coast. Most of the schools are going to get it into their library. It is my prayer that it will go to a time that a child, when a child is born, he will be crying, mm -hmm. Mr. Addison's book, My Child, My Future. My, my child, child, My Future. My future. <laughs> what a way to end that conversation <laughs> of psychological safety at work, especially in Ghana month, in the month of March, talking about how our cultural values and mm. our norms can help improve our psychological safety our work. Uncle James, yeah. thank you so, so much yeah. for coming on the show, yeah. for sharing these thoughts with us. Yeah. This has been Masterclass here on your Superstation Joy 99.7. God willing, next week we start another conversation, as we always do, and we bring you tidbits that will help your business to grow. Thank you so much for joining us.